Well, good evening, good evening, good evening. Uh, God bless you this evening. Thank you for tuning in to um, Galilee uh, Missionary Baptist Church Bible Study Lecture. And I thank you for wherever you are, in your home, in your car, in your living room, in your kitchen, if you're on a job <laughs> or you're driving your car, wherever you are, we thank you for viewing us live stream today. And for those also, we thank you if you're going to look at later on YouTube um, tomorrow or later on this evening. So we appreciate you and thank you that you'll come ready and, and hungry and thirsty for the word of God this evening. And so God bless you. Hey, I want to say wherever you are um, in the U.S., let us know where you are from. If you're from Mississippi, Missouri, uh, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Oklahoma, Texas, Florida, Missouri, wherever you are, uh, just let us know where you are looking at us live stream from. And we just want to acknowledge you and bless you and just good evening to you. Then also say good evening, Pastor, so I know that you're on. And good evening to everybody else out there so they know that you're on and they can pray for you and encourage you and just celebrate with you. And comment to you as we have this uh, discussion tonight on this series that we've been on for a couple of weeks. Hey, I want to let you know a reminder to make sure you're sowing seed, uh, that you're giving tithes and offering to your local church. Your local church um, that is loving on you, equipping you, discipling you, uh, is your family. And so with Galilee, you can give by Cash App. With Galilee, you can do it online giving. Go to our website. You will do Giveify. Um, you also can do in, in person or you can drop off at a church. Some people do that. And then we also have our deacons and deaconess who are available to pick up your tithes and offering also. So we'll make sure that you're sowing seed. Give and it should be given to you, pressed down, shaken together and running over. And so that comes from sowing to the kingdom of God. So make sure that you're sowing in the kingdom of God, even if you're not coming to the building, because I'm excited. Listen here, I am thrilled about the kingdom work that we are doing in the community. I mean, I listen here, I am thrilled. I am thrilled of Galilee members who are going out here and loving on the community, glorifying God in all that they do, and making disciples. I, I just thank God for you. I love you and appreciate you. And we thank you. I mean, we are blessing the homeless. We are blessing the veterans. We're blessing uh, food pantries. We're blessing uh, Defiance College uh, track team. Blessing Defiance College students. We, we're just blessing people all around in our community. And so I just thank God for you who are doing that. And we're encouraging also people who uh, may live out our area that you find a way, and we got some ideas, we can share those with you, how to love on your community during this pandemic. And so we praise God for, 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 for that. This, this Monday, make sure, listen here, make sure uh, Monday, Monday, yesterday, we had our moment in black history. Some of our, some youth and college students were doing it. Next week, we have another set of college students and the following week also throughout the month of February, uh, Monday moments of black history. Uh, is awesome. Support our youth, support our young adults. Look at it on our Facebook page. It was yesterday or on the YouTube. Just put Pastor Ray Gaffney right in YouTube search. I come right up and you'll see it right there. I'm easy to find in the YouTube search. And so, I mean, I was just out doing with our young people and, and what they had to say and what they had to share. And so we got more of them coming, and I just, we need to hear from our, our youth. We need to hear from our, our young people, and we also need to hear from our children, too. They have a lot to say, and we, I just praise God for them having a voice because they have things to share. Well, I hope you got a pen and paper by now together or something to write with, take notes with, as we want to dive into, as they say, dive into the Word of God and begin to look at the Word of God this evening. Because we know the Holy Spirit is going to speak to us this evening and we want to make sure um, that we are equipped and what we need to retain what we hear. And so let's pray. Lord, we thank you and honor you this evening. 
God, we pray, Holy Spirit, have your way. Touch us, encourage us right now. Speak to our heart, Holy Spirit. Speak to our mind, Holy Spirit. Ooh, hallelujah, speak. We need to hear your word tonight as, as you use your vessel, as you use your uh, pastor, your shepherd, to break forth the word today. Lord, we pray against any distractions that will hinder this word from us hearing or receiving it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> and so if you have your Bible, we want to look at John chapter 15. We want to look at John chapter 15 in your Bible today. There's a familiar passage of scripture we want to look at. I'm sure that you've heard it before. Um, John chapter 15. <clears throat> We want to look at John chapter 15. As you turn there, we're on this series that I am who God says I am series. And I'm really excited about this series because it, it relates to our identity. God's, who we are is in God's word. Who you are is in God's word. I, I've been around so many people right now who are having identity crisis because they don't know who they are. You know, you, you got some people in your family right now that are having an identity crisis because they don't know what, who they really are. They, they're trying to live up to uh, mama's expectations, daddy expectations. They're trying to live up to the opinions of other people in the community, coaches, teachers, friends. They, they're being bombarded by attacks from the enemy in their mind. And God wants you to know who you really are in him. Because, to be honest, most of us have been lied to about who we are in Christ. We have been lied to. And God has used me as a vessel. Give me a word to say, tell my people who they really are. They need to know who they really are in Christ. Not in the world, not who the coach told you, not who your parents told you, but who you are in Christ. Who did your heavenly father say that you are? I am who God says I am. Can somebody say that at home in your living room? I am what? Who God says I am. Look at your spouse if you will say, I am who God says I am. And, and so we've been on this series. We've looked at a number of, of letters. You know, been the A's to the E's to the F's, and I've had to go back up now because we missed, I learned some more, and now we're back in the B's again. And so we realize that we are adopted by God, we are ambassadors of God, we're chosen by God, we're called by God, we're empowered by God, forgiven by God, destined by God. And so that's what we talked about, we belong to God, that we're God's property. How many of you enjoyed that last week? Just type it in if you enjoyed it last week that we are God's prophet, that we belong to him. And so it was exciting last week to talk about that I'm not ashamed to say that God owns me. Woo, hallelujah. That I'm, anybody here like me, you, I'm not ashamed to say that God owns me and all of me. I've offered my body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to him. And so today we want to look at another B. You can write this down. It's on your screen for you too. I am a branch of the vine. I am a what? Branch of the vine. And so the Bible says in John chapter 15, uh, verses 5 through 7, it says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. Mm. He that abideth in me, He says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into a, 
the fire, they are burned. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. And so the good news is today to realize that, number one, we are what? A branch connected to the what? The vine. We are a branch connected to the vine. The vine is who? Jesus Christ. The vine is Jesus Christ, and we are connected to what? That branch. Woo. Mm. That vine, I'm saying. We are a branch connected to the vine. And that vine is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That means as the what? As the vine, and we're, we're connected to him, that means that we're connected to our omnipotent, our powerful, and our knowing God. Woo, hallelujah, praise God. You know, a lot of people brag about their what? Their, their, their what? Their connections. A lot of people brag about who they're connected to and uh, who they know and all that kind of stuff. But we ought to brag about our what connection to Jesus Christ because we're connected to him. Woo. We're connected to the Redeemer. We're connected to the Savior. We're connected to the, the shepherd of our soul, the bishop of our soul. We're connected, as they say, the old folks used to say, we're connected to the one who's a bridge over troubled water. He's a, <laughs> we're connected to him. And, and, and see, listen here, that means because I'm connected to him, mm, that whatever I need, he has. He becomes my resource for what I need. And one thing I love about being connected to God is that I'm connected to him. Everything that I need, he's able to impart unto me. That means if I need strength, he's able to give it to me. If I, I, I need hope, he's able to give it to me. Woo, whatever I need, he's able. If I need healing, he's able to what? Give it to me. If I need endurance or, or perseverance or tenacity, he's able to give it to me. And, and the truth of the matter is the reason why some of us are still alive today, still cold in our right mind today, is because God has given us what we need to sustain us. He sustains us. He has sustaining power. I, I would listen here. I'm gonna be honest. I'd probably be in a mental institution right now if it wasn't for God. <laughs> I would have lost my mind if it wasn't what for God. I would have committed suicide if it wasn't for God. Does anybody else have that testimony today? Just wave your hand, raise it up, type it in, and say, Yes, Pastor, I got the same testimony. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? I thank God ooh, for my relationship with him. I'm connected to him. I don't know what I would do without, without God. So we're connected to the, to the vine. The vine is there. And, and so it's important as we're connected to the vine that we receive an impartation from the vine. You see, the, the, the vine, Jesus has what we need. But we got us because of our free will. We, he's not going to force it upon us, right? You, you see what I'm saying? Uh, my my mother-in-law always would say the Holy Spirit is a, is a gentleman. He's not going to force his way on us. We must surrender and yield to what the Holy Spirit. We must surrender and yield to the Holy Spirit so we can receive the impartation that we need from what? From the Lord. And so we have to view ourselves as a branch so we can receive what we need from the Lord. And so as a branch, so let's talk about what the branch is. Let's look at the branch. Let's look at the branch. The branch um, had the branch is connected what to the what? To the vine. The branch is connected to the vine. And so um, it says here, the branch can't not survive without what? Without the vine. Mm. That, that means if you um, have a vine and you have a branch attached to it, the branch itself cannot survive without the nutrients, the water, and whatever else it needs from the what? From the vine. It can't stand alone on its own. Matter of fact, if you um, tear off or cut off the branch from the vine, then that means now, whoo, hallelujah, mm, that means the branch will what, just wither away because it 
is not receiving the nutrients it needs from what? From the vine. Mm. Wow. And so the same way with us, when we say, I am the branch, that means that I am what? Completely dependent upon the power of what? Of the vine. That I'm completely dependent upon upon Jesus. How many of you can testify today that you completely do what? Depended upon Jesus. That I can't do anything without him. That's why, you know, um, you always were here in the church, especially growing up when I was growing up, and you probably grew up with some, maybe you had a church with church mothers in it. Y'all remember the church mothers? And, and they would always tell me, and I would hear them quote this passage, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and, not, and lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall what direct thy paths. And, and I realized something from that. What they were saying in that trust him with all thy heart, that, hey, I am leaning and dependent upon Jesus Christ. I trust him fully and completely. I, 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 it's not about what I think all the time. It's not about my own logic, my rationale. It's not about the, the degrees behind my name. I know God knows better than me, and I know God wants what's best for me. God knows better than me, and God wants what's what best for me. I know it, and that's why I can completely trust God and depend upon him whatever situation I find myself in. So the question today, are you a branch that totally and completely depends upon God? Do you completely trust him? Even in the midst of this pandemic, do you what? Do you trust God? Even in the midst of what you're going through um, financially, do you trust God? Even in the midst of your illness, do you trust God completely? Even in the midst of your financial challenges, do you trust God completely? Even in the midst of your job challenges, and do you trust God? Even in the midst of your parental problems, which your kids probably have gone crazy for cuckoo pops. Anybody testify there that you <laughs> That your kids sometimes go crazy about cuckoo, act like that anyway. And, and you still, what? You still trust God despite mm, what your challenges that you're facing right now, even in the midst of this pandemic. You say, God, I completely, I completely trust you. I, I'm sold out to you because I am a branch connected to the what? Connected to the, to the, to the vine. And so the vine, we 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 um, completely we completely trust because God because we realize we can't survive uh, without without Him. And, and so He says that we're also something else about the branch. He says that the branch abides in in Jesus. It abides. That abide there means to what to remain in Him to um, stay connected to Him. That means if I'm a branch, I would remain, would abide and remain in Jesus Christ. That means I remain with him. I am what um, immovable. Wow. Mm. Because I am what connected to him. That means nothing can move me from him. Mm. Because I abide in him. Mm. Wow. That, that reminds me of scripture when it says here, it says in, in Romans chapter 8, verses 35 to 39, it says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or pearl or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him that love us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, or nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Woo, hallelujah. That means that 
I invited him and nothing, I will let nothing separate me from the love of God. No matter how bad it may be, how challenging it may be, how painful it may be. Because some of us are dealing, listen here, sister, I know you are dealing with some painful situations right now. I know, brother, you, you're, the process of growing in Christ is, is painful sometimes. I, I know some of us are, are walking through the valley of the shadow of death right now. I know that you feel you've been in a valley too long. I, I know that some of us would say we've been in a storm too long. But despite the valley, despite the storms, I'm still going to be unmovable, unshakable, unbreakable, because nothing can separate me from my relationship with Jesus Christ, no matter how challenging it is, because I abide in him. Do you abide in him? Just type it in tonight. If you abide in Jesus, say, I abide in him. And so one thing I like about abiding in Jesus, one thing about Jesus, what he does is when you abide in him, is that he gives us, I realize something. Now hear this, listen, listen. I realize something he gives us. He gives us a movable power. But what, what, wow, isn't that awesome? Listen, when, when we uh, abide in him, when we abide in Jesus, he gives us a movable power. That means he gives us power to be able to stand strong, to stand tall in the midst of storms. In the face of adversity, he gives that to us because we have a movable power. We we are like that. We are like that. Listen here. We are like that palm tree. You know that palm tree that you you see on TV that's down in Florida, and when a hurricane comes, you know you see things blowing in the wind and see cars blowing and uh, mobile homes blowing, signs blowing, and, and they blowing all around in the city. But it's something unique about that palm tree, that that palm tree, even though it's swaying right and left, backwards and forward, even though it swings, it's still immovable. And yes, you may sway from the enemy attacks. Yes, you may sway from uh, sickness. Yes, you may sway from the challenges and adversity of life. You may sway from that. But one thing that God gives us the power to be is what unmovable, woo, unyielding, mm, and what, woo, and, and it's awesome that no matter what you face in life, that God empowers us to be what, unmovable. And we are, somebody else celebrate that right there because you know right now the hell you've been through. The reason why you survived it, because Jesus gave you a movable power. Woo, celebrate. Somebody will say amen right there. Celebrate that Jesus gives you a movable power. Isn't that awesome how God gives us a movable power? Because we will abide in him. It is awesome. It's amazing that he does us. And so because we abide in him, there's something special that God wants us to do because we abide in him. He wants us to bear fruit. He says, um, people who abide in him bear what? Bear, bear fruit. They become fruit bears. And, and so, um, listen here, as, you're con as we're connected to the vine as a branch, that branch is designed to bear fruit, to bring forth fruit, to produce fruit. That means that... Um, that because I'm connected to Jesus Christ, my life, whoo, hallelujah, is fruitful because I'm abiding in him. Does that make sense to anybody here today? That, do, do, listen here, realize that um, um, the, <laughs> the only reason why um, the grapes on a vine can um, can be produced from the branch is because it's connected to the what to the vine. The only reason why that uh, 
apple tree. You see that apple tree has that long, and apple tree has branches, and you get from the branch, you pull off the fruit from the trunk of the branch. You, there's a trunk and then a branch, and then from the branch, it, the branch produces fruit, and you pull off the what apple, or you pull off the peach. The, they say the sweet Georgia peach. You, you pull it off. And the only reason why that branch can produce the apple, can produce the peach, can produce the grape, is because it's connected to the vine. And, and God is saying, listen here, when you're connected to me, I, I want you to produce fruit. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God. Isn't, isn't that awesome that we become fruit bearers because we're connected to Jesus Christ? We, ooh, hallelujah. Praise God. God wants your life to be fruitful. He doesn't want you stagnant. He doesn't want you stuck. He wants your life to be fruitful because you're connected with him. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. That means he, he listen here. That, that means he, he wants your, he wants your what? That means that he wants your ministry to be fruitful. He wants your life group that you're over to be fruitful. He wants your local church to be what? Fruitful. He, he wants whatever you do to be what? Fruitful and to produce. He wants a business you're connected with to be fruitful. He wants your business to produce fruit. He wants what, uh, your career to be what? Fruitful. He wants your marriage to be fruitful. He wants whatever you involved in, engage in to be what? Fruitful because you're abiding in him as a what? As a branch. Ooh, can anybody celebrate right there that God wants you to be what? Be, be what? Fruitful in everything that you do. That y'all celebrate right there. Uh, the, the pastor of scripture says in Psalm, in Psalm uh, 1 verse 3, 3 <laughs> and it says and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit his, excuse me, bringeth forth his fruit <laughs> in his season. His leaf also will not wither. Whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Wow. This is what God wants for us. Wow. Isn't that awesome? He wants Mm. Whatever you do to prosper. Wow. It, it, can, let's take a moment here. Take a moment. Take a moment. And think about that. He wants whatever you do to prosper. He wants whatever you put your hands to. Woo! Put your mind to. Whatever you put your gifts to. Your spiritual gifts Whatever you put your talents to, woo, ah, whatever you put your skill set to, he wants it to prosper. And it'll prosper when you are a branch connected and abiding in Jesus Christ. It will what? Prosper. That's what God wants for you. Can anybody celebrate that right there? Say, God, I thank you that you want for me whatever I do, I, I, whatever ministry I do. I, he wants it to prosper. Whatever uh, ministry assignment I have, he wants it to prosper. Whatever business I engage myself in or business venture I go into, he wants it to prosper. He wants to have prosperity in your life. He wants your life to bear fruit because you're connected with him. Mm. Wow. I, but who? Listen here. Who would want to be connected to Jesus? And have a life that what bears fruit. Who? I mean, come on now. Who? Who? You, can you think about how many people in your life really want you to do well? Who really want you to succeed? Who really want you to achieve? Uh, your goals, fulfill your dreams, pursue your destiny. I mean, think about that. It's very few people, but you know. Mm, that you have Jesus. Can anybody here celebrate Jesus today? You know that you have Jesus that wants you to bear fruit, that wants you to prosper in your life because you are what abiding in him. I am a branch of God. Can anybody here celebrate today that I am and declare of yourself that I am a branch of God? I am a branch. I abide in him. Woo. And I'm not ashamed to say I'm a branch. 
I'm not who they say that I am. I'm not who they say I was. I am a branch of God. I'm connected to him. He's the vine and I'm the branch. And I'm abiding in him, doing what he wills me to do. And so let's close out with prayer this evening. Let's close out with prayer. Lord, we just, we just thank you and honor you tonight. We thank you, God, for us. Mm, thank you, God. Thank you for just loving us today, loving us so much that you allow us to be a branch connected to you. You allow us to abide in you. And we don't take that for granted, God. And matter of fact, that should cause us, Father, to want to do your will more. To say, not my will, but thy will be done because I'm going to do the will of the vine that I am what connected to. And so, Lord, I'm praying for those who are listening that if they're not connected to Jesus, that they will accept you as Lord and Savior and say, I want Jesus. I want to be connected to someone like that. I want to be a branch. I want Jesus to change my life. I'm praying to believe that Jesus came down to 42 generations, was born of a virgin Mary, went to Cabra's cross and died on the cross for us, paid for our sin debt, but got up early third day morning, resurrection morning mm, to save us. Oh, touch them right now to receive the love of Christ. We thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you for listening today. We appreciate you um, taking the time out to listen. And I hope that it was encouraging to you, beneficial for you also, uh, what you heard here today. Uh, just a quick announcement. Remember, um, on Mondays this month, during February, we do a Monday Moments in Black History at 6.30 p.m. on Galley's Facebook page. Galley's Facebook page. Then it will be uploaded onto YouTube. So mark your calendars for Monday at 6.30 uh, p.m. for the moments. Uh, remember, you can make donations um, to Galley via Cash App is another means of doing that. You can do it that way. Um, also, you can also do it on our on our website right here uh, at www.galleydefiance.org. And so we want to make sure that you're, you're doing that, too. Also, remember, we do have our what? We do have our prayer call going on, praying for our nation, praying uh, for one another, praying for our church family on Monday through Saturdays at 8 p.m. Monday through Saturdays at 8 p.m. Also, remember, you can join one of our life groups. Our life groups are here to love on you and encourage you. You can call one of the numbers there and do that. Uh, also, uh, remember, uh, to be a, we do have morning inspiration, Monday through Friday, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, uh, to give people a word of, of encouragement. So remember, if you need prayer, you know, call this number. Uh, we're here to pray for you and love on you and encourage you. If you have questions about joining the church or want to learn more about Jesus, then give this number a call. We'll be glad to help you. And so remember, my wife and I are praying for you. We, we're praying for you during this time of the pandemic. Remember, we're here if you need us. You know, you have not because you ask not. And so God bless you and thank you for listening this evening. God bless you and be encouraged.